okay we are back again um i think it's still trying to activate so i can tell that it's not on even though it's telling me it's live until it brings out the icon where i can type and say good morning so i think that's it the look is up um, good morning so uh, yeah i think we are on now so good morning our people we are trying to be innovative here and use the technologies technologies made available technology made available uh, for us to use so hopefully it will work out our goal is to um, share the powerpoint uh, at our presentation that we have while we're on air so that you can get to see us so thank you so much for joining us sisters have you seen it yes uh, okay and it's where it's supposed to be right yes okay awesome uh, I it. not yet you know there's a little bit delay with some of this uh, uh, yes there's a little search, bit search, did you search doctors of truth oh okay that's another thing did you so, did you that's, um, yes. that's what i was saying that i don't know how it's me Okay, that's true. Right, so how. what you can do is to share it on the uh, page, which I'm able to do. Yeah, yeah I can share it on the page to uh, let people know. Yeah, it's on your own page too. Okay. Right. You understand? Right. So, yeah. So I won't be able to do all that sharing until I guess do the first part. No, I mean just on your own page. People that will go to your page can now come in it. So just for okay. moon actually start. Okay. So I will try to do that. Let's see. So hopefully we are all people. So, uh, uh, thank yeah, you I'll for being so patient with us this morning. So we are trying to get started. Uh, so give us a little few minutes to do some housekeeping here. Uh, to make sure that things are working right. So we're on a different page. So we share here yeah. so i have it okay so hopefully that worked yeah you guys can share on my thing too for me okay all right thank you oh, let's yeah. not waste any more time with this uh, we have something important to discuss so today our topic is the eight point strategy to freedom eight point strategy to freedom we have um, spent so many um, weeks now talking about the um, UN Charter for Human Rights and what they have for indigenous peoples, because it's not just us, and uh, what we need to do to get where we're going. Because for so many years, Africans, as Africans, we have been chasing shadows. We've been doing things that uh, do not work and expecting different results. So our goal today is to do something that works and hopefully we can get to where we are going um, sooner. So um, as Africans, it's time for us to drop our differences. We have to drop the long, um, age-long lamentation about hatred from the rest of the world and look forward on working together to take over our continent and change the narrative. We have to stop building we have to, uh, nobody's stopping us right now from building a schools or schools in our communities, from building bank, you know, where we can all put our money. We have the numbers. We have the churches. Why are we using it to buy private jets? Why are we using it to buy different adult toys? Why are we using it to subjugate one another? What is stopping us from building schools with curriculum that will educate our children the way that we want. What is stopping us from building supermarkets to sell products to ourselves? Is, that our, our, is, is it that our population is not enough? What is stopping us from building hospitals to treat our sick to our satisfaction? Uh, like our brother Onyebuchi wrote on his Facebook wall, he said, why have we resorted to just lamenting about the killings, injustice, marginalization, deprecation, mented out by all, uh, to us by the Fulanese, instead of sitting on a round table to work 
uh, to look for solutions. So this brother is asking us to stop doing the same thing over and over again and thinking that something different is going to happen. First, it was the Arab that came in and Islamized the Africans. Then the Europeans came and now it's the China, the Chinese. Are we really that weak? Are we really the monkey and the baboon that the Chinese government is showing to the elementary students at school? Are we really that? Because that's what they did last year. They started propagating to their children that we are monkeys and baboons. They will get a picture of an African, they will get a picture of a baboon, and they try to look for similarities. This is how they started this propaganda before the uh, Chinese virus came out. So now they are torturing our brothers and sisters, thinking what they have seen, that they are the monkeys and the baboons. No wonder they are not allowed to leave their homes. Today we want to do something differently. We want to examine a roadmap and a blueprint that we have for 21 years. Our brother had it for 21 years. But instead of people that he has shared you with to come together and reason together, what they did is to try to chase their own, uh, you know, their own plants, their own uh, um, praises, their own whatever, whatever is it that they are doing. Instead of doing what was, instead of following the legal processes on how we can liberate ourselves from the uh, country called Nigeria. So it's time for us today to look at that document. It's called the Eight Point Strategy Document by the Lower Niger uh, Congress with Tony Nadi as the Secretary General. So hopefully we'll be able to bring out the PowerPoint and uh, you can follow um, the PowerPoint as we present. Because this is important. We cannot, we cannot afford. If you look at our icon, we have changed it to the mother of truth. If you see this picture depicts a woman that is pregnant. And not only are we pregnant with the truth, we are pregnant with delivery of Africa from the dungeon that they are in. We are no longer going to sit aside while our men play politics with the lives of our children, while they collect money from foreign governors. As you guys have seen, the Chinese uh, has been giving money. They have been giving money to Africa so that they can release virus, destroy our economy. We cannot pay. Then they will have a reason to come in like the colonial master. We know the strategies. They, the handwriting, you have to be a dumb African leader not to see the handwriting on the wall. We are not, we the mothers are not. We didn't sit at the table with them, but in our own kitchen while we are cook cooking, we've already dissected the problem. Mm -hmm. They gave Africans all this money. Meanwhile, as we are talking right now, every, they are building things in Africa and they are writing instructions everywhere in Chinese. They are getting Africa continent for their uh, generations. Go to Abuja at your airport, they are writing things in Chinese and you're paying them to do a project and write it in Chinese. My people, they are coming home. If we don't use this opportunity to liberate ourselves from the Chinese people, we will go another round of slavery, just like the uh, Arab has, ha, have, the Arabs have done, just like the European have done. These people now is about to start another chapter. And it's us, the newer generation, the children of Chukwu Kikabiam, the youths that are saying, we can no longer live like this. We can no longer live like this. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. Thank you. Exactly. It is not sustainable. It is not. We can no longer live like this. We can no longer. We can no longer live like this. We have our new colonizers. And these people are mean. Chinese people are mean. I haven't seen before. Chinese people, are, I'm sorry to say this, these people are mean. We've been saying people, all along, nobody wants to listen. Americans exactly. keep be doing business with them, not, even when they're selling body parts. This is not being political, politically correct or how do they say it? No. These people, but they don't, anything black, I mean, they, they, it, when you go to their country, they, they, they show it to you. They show you the level of racism. They show it to you and these people we are even way better than them when it comes to being uh, educationally we are better than them uh, morally we are better than these people and yet they are treating us like something that was picked from the trash for how long will africa sell uh, self to 
The, first of all, it was to the Arab, then to the European, now to Chinese. For how long? With all the fake products that they produce and they give it, give it to Africa and all kinds of diseases. Africa that are not used to diseases, every kind of disease you can find now in Af the African continent. They've come more, but we need to start, 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 start getting ourselves away from their grip. So interestingly, this LNC self-determination campaign template, as it is called, can work anywhere and for any indigenous people that need independence and freedom. What LNC has done is to restore a sense of identity and autonomy to all the indigenous peoples, while coaching them on the importance of collaboration and synergy. You know, we've been talking about collaborating, 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 so that we can become one and fight this impending uh, outburst. I don't even know how to say it. It's, it's going to come. Uh, this country, this African continent will implode one day because there's a level that we can take at the moment. It's a level we can take at the moment. Knowing that no single indigenous people can fight this battle alone and win. So that is why we're talking about collaboration, collaborating, synergizing with the other indigenous peoples so that we can break away from the grip of the colonizers. As we speak, Yorubas, Middle Belt, Midwest, South South are all working on the same document. And guess what? This document has been shared with our people. It has been shared with our people as far back as 2013. The same document has been shared with our people and Mazi Toninadi has told us to go ahead and go through the step-by-step -step protocol to, towards our freedom. But you know, some people, some of our people, they feel that they are smarter than what is written. When a document is given to you, America or United Nations want you to follow it. Not you trying to use Igbo sense in order to circumvent uh, 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 the, the pathway. Or you want to use that pian way to get to the to the you think you can get there faster when there's a method for you to get there. It doesn't work that way. I hope our people would go. That's I want to teach our people this document and tell our people how far they we've gone and how far we have to go to get to the last point. And I hope everybody will tune in as we explain. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, sister. They don't have a choice. They don't have a choice because anytime. We are talking about hardship. Women suffer the worst blunt of it, women and their children. So that's why we can no longer sit around and wait for African men that are busy buying homes all over Europe and uh, even who knows if they're buying in China now. They will get shares. The, the who president got things from China and that's why he was speaking from both sides of his mouth. None of them can represent us. They have proven that they cannot represent African women and their children. So it has to be done differently. It must be done differently. And they don't have any choice. Sister Upi, please. Yes, um, they don't have any choice, uh, my sisters. You know, um, it, interestingly, there's, I like um, when, um, what I like about this document is, like Sister Augusta said, that it allows the indigenous people to maintain their identity and still be able to collaborate with others. Because you find out that what the white man has done over the years is to make us deny who we are, lump us together and call us a name. And uh, that's not who we are. And that's what we've been fighting for the longest time. That's why there's no stability in Africa. But we say, it's better I know who I am, maintain my identity, then out of who I am, I collaborate with my neighbors. Plan with them, do business with them, discuss with them, rather than calling me who I am not. Because that's that's not gonna work. So we thank God for this document that um we have, you know, that, like Sister Augusta said that it can work anywhere. Because truth is truth. Truth is the same anywhere you look at it. So uh um we thank God also that for oh, about 12 years we have a younger generation of evil people that came together with few progressive older generation including um, later um, Dim Chukwe Meka or Dime Bujuku, um, later Chief Sisi Ono, and others that are still living, you know, and they came together to coordinate the evil arm of this Lua Niger Congress under the code name Aladima. We will look at um, this 
document also, you know, to see the document they put together. Because what we are telling our people, it's not a cock and bull story. It's methodology. It's about protocol, like Sister Augusta mentioned earlier on. When you want to get independence, you work with people around you. Collaborate. Synergize. You do this, I do this, then we move on. It's not something that, we, because we don't want to explode. We want it to be done in a particular, we have died enough. The blood of Africans, every day being shed, go to Congo, everywhere, I think where animals even have what? They won't, they won't life, of, what life of animals even have what more than the life of Africans. Mm -hmm. Anywhere we go, they kill us. And you know what? They don't ask you your tribe before they kill you. Mm -mm. They just look at you. You're black, like me. Monkey. They kill you. Mm -hmm. They do whatever they want to do to you. So that's why it has become so important for us to do things the right way. Not just saying, you know, like half as it if you do this one, you do that one. No, it has to be coordinated. People have to see that. And I'm glad, you know, when I heard that the elders, in our own elders that are already, they're already working with younger generation. So that is what we want to see. We can see it in Yoruba land, coming together. We can see it in a, in, in a, a middle belt and all other parts of um, Nigeria, that the people, that, that's, that collaboration is beginning to happen. And we want more of that. Thank you, sisters. My dear, of course we do. We do, our children are dying. Our generations are dying. We don't even have anything to look forward to. So if we don't begin to change the narratives, we'll continue to be where we are. And we're tired of African men that are running around selling us for their own cut. Ogen Kohei Rula, it's my turn. That's the, always a the popular saying. So you struggle once you see yourself in that place of uh, uh, leadership. Then you d decide that's how, you, that's how you're going to get rich. Doing the right thing does not count anymore. So enough is enough. Uh, we are going to pull up the, um, the document or the PowerPoint. So hopefully it will work for us. Um, I will not um, cut us off. Who knows? We shall see. Technology help us today. We shall see how that So uh, sisters, are you guys able to see? Um, yes. Let's okay, see. so we're still on because my screen my screen has to change. <laughs> my screen has to change since I'm the one manipulating this. I'm not even sure what you guys are looking at. Is did the PowerPoint come up? Um, you know, it should take a second, so okay. I'm waiting. All right. Yeah, so we can go ahead and right. come up. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it did come up uh, for us. So this is the eight point strategy uh, document to freedom that we are talking about. And uh, our sister Augusta will read. Uh, is, as you can see, the first one is the, uh, is the exact map of the nation that is being restored, what we are talking about. And the reason why we want to take this in line by line is that some stories have been told about this. Uh, names has been called about this, whereas it's something that is written down. Is something that you just have to sit down and examine. And we can see our people don't like to read, they don't like to coordinate things. So we, the women, are going to help you guys organize the thoughts, organize the uh, uh, train of uh, ideas, so we can see exactly what we're talking about. So the first yeah. uh, thing here- No, I'm sorry. You know, they said, uh, this thing they said that if you want to hide anything from a black man, you should put it in print, you should write it. Okay. And we want to break that jinx. So that's why we want to, because we are the mothers that read story by the bedside for our children. So let's read it for our people so that that jinx will be broken. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm you, still waiting. The PowerPoint hasn't shown yet. It has not shown yet. Okay. Oh. I will see it on my screen here. It says shared. So my screen, my screen has to change. <laughs> my screen has to change. This I'm the one manipulating this. I'm not even sure what you guys are looking at. Did the PowerPoint come up? Um, okay, so somebody's thing is playing back. 
so I, so what he did, I, I'm I'm able to see. I log back in. So he's showing um a dark screen. So Facebook is not okay. Allowing me to Let populate. me log back in and see if that will uh, yeah, I can see he's showing a dark screen on my part. So I don't know what you guys are seeing. He's showing a blank screen as yeah, well. Yeah, which is so funny. maybe we should just go back and um, pin this one later to the page. I don't know. Because it, I don't, I don't know why it's not um, sure. match at the moment. Okay. Okay. Um, let me get the the uh, printout of this map while you do that. Yeah, maybe do so that. Um, okay. out and you know, the PowerPoint comes up. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. So okay, so I'll stop sharing then. Because it's just black. This <laughs> phone, oh, turn off. Oof. All right, so I'm not sure what's going on. It's not showing, and there's no yeah, way. Let, let me, me see just, if I can me copy and paste. Let me use the paper one. Okay, so can you talk? Who's who's, uh, who's this okay. is talking back? Somebody's voice is cracking back, y'all. Okay, yeah, I I'm I'm sorry, I'm the one. Yeah, remember we on we on air. <laughs> yeah, I was mute. Right. So I want to show um to see if it shows like yeah, it's showing like that. Uh, I, I don't know. It is. It's still showing me. I don't know what. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is the map. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it came out okay. So that's the map in question. Um, I'm disappointed that the PowerPoint could not play uh, because it was a very nice presentation so that we can see exactly what we're talking about. So this is the area. So take, we go ahead and explain the area that you're showing right now and why it's called, uh, the name that it's called. Yeah, if you look now, this map, it says it's um, 18, the 1885, right? So yes. it's an old map of the people that occupy this geographical space. Because if you use a certain name, it will cut off some people. And it's all about legality, you know, about protocol, about documentation. Because you won't say, I think, I think. Um, we are this and this. They will ask you to prove it. If you go, if you approach UN, and you're saying the people seeking this uh, self-determination are so, 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 and so. That's word of mouth. They want you to show them a document. And the first thing that you have to show is the map to show the geographical space you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And the, the only one that we have that has all of us is this map of 1885. Before they even started uh, killing us and killing us and do all this. So this map shows all of us. In this map, you can't put a name of a nation to it yet. Because the name of a nation that the people are using around, that the one that people call, it cuts this map. It makes us smaller. It makes us fewer. Some people will be cut out. It won't keep people will be caught out if you use that name. It, 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 people in Benin, as we go into the, uh, the presentation, we'll tell you about what they did to make us smaller, to make us the, 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 the minority. So if you play that game, it will work for them. You will remain minority. But with this map, you are majority. You are no more minority. So that's why we are referring back to so the ancient map of who we are before they started dividing us. Because it's divide and conquer. Divide and rule. So before the white man started dividing us to conquer us, this is how we were together. And that's why we are using this particular map. It's just for us to do it the correct way. When we get what we're looking for, we call it, we decide what we want to call ourselves. It's like giving birth to a child. When you give birth to a child, the name is not a problem now. Give birth to the child first. 
Okay, please go ahead, Sister Muna, uh, Sister Augusta. I'll remove it now. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a map that is being addressed there. So, um, unfortunately, like we said, the PowerPoint refused to play to um, populate. So it's important that we understand why the name the Lower Niger. That's what it's called in that 1885. So that that will include all of our brothers and sisters that we are talking about. And like my sister said, it will make us the majority because that's what it's supposed to be. It will, we were trying to change the map that the slave master changed from what it used to be, basically. The slave master made us the minority and this map from 1885 made us the majority. And that's why it's important that we refer to this map. Okay. So the point number two, Sister Augusta, go ahead. Number one, she's reading. Oh, number reading one, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so we are starting with the uh, trying to understand the nexus between the Lower Niger Congress. No, just start from uh, from the from the exit one. Yeah. So the, the eight point strategy that we are trying to talk about. So the number one will be the exact map of the Biafra that is being restored. Of the nation that is being restored. Of the, of yeah. the, the nation. Also put it in name, yes. In name, yes. It's bigger, you know. This okay, of the nation that is being restored. Okay, so um, considering the circumstances that led to the Federal Alliance waging the war of 1967 to 1970 war as a liberation war to free the eastern minorities from the invasion of the, of the Igbo, the failure of the Biafra Restoration Agitation Bandwagon to distill a definite map of the territory over which they seek independence is a fun, foundational and fundamental flaw that immediately defeats whatever case for self-determination they may be trying to make. Should I I'm go? just continuing. Yeah, continue. Have you finished the first one? No, I'm not finished the first Oh, I should go through yeah, the Just go on. Just go okay. through it. By May 30, 1967, the map of Biafra, if that is what is being restored, presents a controversy no one can resolve since the federal brigandage of May 27, 67, that carved out River State and Southeastern State predates the date of May 30th, 1967, the declaration of the Eastern region as the Republic of Biafra. The even more untenable claim is the one of an ancient Biafran country that predated Nigeria, which exact map the Biafra Restoration Bandwagon cannot fathom. Any independence campaign that does not begin with a definite and settled map of the territory targeted for the independence is completely dead on arrival. And this, and is, this is noted by the that. UN. This is noted by yeah, the UN. I have those, you know. Yeah. So, on the other hand, the LNC being uh, at initial a consensual and collective regional initiative adopted the 1885 ethno-linguistic map of the Lower Niger as the exact territorial delimitation of the territory for which it seeks self-determination. The said 1885 map also clearly delineates the constituent component nationalities of the said Lower Niger territory. In other words, the 1885 map shows the external boundaries of the whole territory as well as the internal boundaries of the constituent component nationalities. That's it. Okay. I uh, have explained it. Uh, because it, the good thing about this point is that it's in line with the United Nations um, Declaration on the Rights for Indigenous Peoples. So we, we are doing the right thing because I don't know, like you said, what Sir Augusto said, that our people like shortcuts and shortcut doesn't help anybody at the end. It doesn't cut it. And it's even in my culture, sorry, let me speak Igbo. I say, Igbo no one wage, Igbo jio do ya, Igbo kuran, where to was there. That means if you want to dig out yam, harvest yam, for instance, and you are in a hurry, you will just pull it out and then cut some part of the yam down the ground. After you've done that, you will now kneel down and start looking for the tail of the yam. Why didn't you come down from the beginning so that you get the entire yam out of the land? That's right. what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Follow the due process. Uh, yes. Because again, you're not dealing with Omo Nage, right? 
-hmm. you're not dealing with two more now you're dealing with people that like to write encyclopedia so like you don't have to huh I'll hit you too. I'll hit you exactly. Yes. <laughs> so and don't, there's that they don't care for you. So if you don't follow the legal process, you will be there dancing around all you want, uh, singing all kinds of songs. You will still be dying, and nobody will care. And all we are saying is for us to follow the legal way to, to this freedom, so that we can stop wasting our time with other stuff or with other distraction. We can see that this map delineates the area that will give us even more coverage. Exactly. We include all these our brothers and sisters that we are calling uh, uh, randomly. This map includes them in it so that they feel like they are part of something. So they can feel like they have a voice. So they can feel like they are included. So they can be ready when we need to talk. So we can go with one voice as indigenous people so, to get where we are going. That just randomly telling them, hey, you know, you are part of it does not work. And that according to the UN, you must present a document that shows the inclusion of these areas that you're uh, trying to attain. So it's very important. And these things, like my sister said earlier, has been out there in the open. And people just refuse to, they, they think Naranda and Ilahana and Mehe are human beings and they will immediately understand and feel sorry for all the dead bodies. No, they are the ones that orchestrated all the dead bodies. They are the ones that forced us to have police force. That will be forcing death upon you. They did all these things. So none of them, none of what, what we are seeing is the outcome, is the, the result that they are looking. That's they, they plan this thing for us to be dying every day. So they are not sentimental about your pictures. They are not sentimental about the Africans being killed by Chinese. No. They, nobody cares about that. Instead, they will sit down and watch, pretend to have you when, pretend to have who. Look at who in business and africa does not have health care mm -hmm. world health organization is in business for over how many years and africans do not have health care who are they whoing it's only a good old boy network that they will sit and share the money that belongs to the world and it's so sad that people like country like american that's why we need to check out these democrats there's something wrong with them that our president is saying our president here in america now you guys get easily confused i'm not a zoo person here in America, President Trump is saying that what they have done is not right. This man was speaking from both sides of his mouth when we needed the truth, that we need to withhold funds. And the so-called Democrats, which I align with the same Fulanese, Democrats are like Fulanese of America. They are playing with the lives of their people. So these people don't care about you, my dear. They will develop World Health Organization and spend all the money, trillion, trillion, trillions, and you still will not have health care. So they don't care. Let's follow the route. Let's follow the protocol. Let's follow the strategy. Let's follow the law and get where we're going. They don't care about your sentiments and the number of people that are dead. They don't. They keep giving money to them, give, giving money to them, all in plans to continue to reap from Africa. Nothing else, nothing more. Even the one you just got from you and this week. It's already shared before it got to Then they know they're sharing all these things. They know they're sharing all these resources. Tell me how you can be giving money to Africa. Every time you come to Africa, it's worse than what it was 5 million years ago. And then you give him money. Don't you see they're playing games? That's all they can do. So no amount of sentiment is going to help us than to follow the legal process. And that's what we're trying to help you guys to get in line with so that we can stop being sentimental and lying to ourselves. Thank you, Sister Augusta. Please continue. Yes, we need to stop being sentimental and stop lying to ourselves. We need to stop that. So now, number two of the eight-point strategy. Consensus and internal cohesion amongst the constituent component nationalities of the territory bidding for self-determination or independence. Totally unmindful of the painful lessons of the Biafra of 1967, the drivers of the Biafra agitation without any meaningful consultations with the Eastern minorities, so-called, have made the present Biafra agitation an Igbo affair, unwittingly justifying the false narrative of Igbo invasion of Eastern minorities that was used by Nigeria to justify the execution of the 1967-70 genocide against the peoples of the then Eastern Nigeria, Biafra, particularly the Igbo. The LNC, on the other hand, began with a very robust engagement 
with the nationalities constituting the lower Niger according to the 1885 map. After six years of painstaking and intensive engagement with the various nationalities of the territory, the first public presentation of the LNC was in 2009, when a sufficient consensus level had been achieved. In 2015, Solemn Assembly of the Peoples of the Lower Niger in Port Harcourt was a formal presentation of the joint bid by the peoples of the Lower Niger for self-determination to the global community. On this score, it is very instructive that the same Niger Delta nationalities, which wholeheartedly embrace the Lower Niger self-determination campaign or independence bid, vehemently reject the Igbo only Biafra restoration agitation. All right, sisters. Sister Equi, your mood. Sorry, I was on. So, we don't want a repeat of 1967 70. What happened? Because it's, it's always good to be a student of history. When something happens, you ask yourself why. Then you begin to dig. Why did the whole world come into 1967 when we said we wanted independence? That's all we wanted. Because there was a false narrative that was sold to them that we are trying to conquer our neighbors, the lower Niger, where you have the oil, where they have the investment. Because you know, like tell you that the oil in the, I mean, in the um, River Rhine area, the south, Sen, south, the so-called South South, the oil there is owned by Shell, um, Mobile, all those people. They made investment there. So now somebody told them that we, the Igbos, want to conquer those people. Why? Because we did not have due consultation. That's why that narrative, that false narrative. So, so all the owners of the oil came together and fought us. The whole world fought us. And it's not a joke because it was a genocidal war. They killed over 3.5 million of us. Who wants to try that again? We don't want a repeat of that. We don't want a case where we'll say, because as Igbos, we should know that some people don't like us. That we're a threat to some people, just breathing. So you do not put yourself in a wrong light for a repeat of what happened in 1967. For anybody to lie against us. So that's why it's so important. This internal cohesion that we're talking about is very important. You work with them, you agree and sign documents, have initial, before you even approach UN. So when UN goes behind to ask them, are you in support? Did you agree? They say, yes, we are together. That's how you do your job and then you be successful. Please go ahead, my sisters. Absolutely. absolutely. Uh, sister Muna, let me say, one of the uh, our listeners is saying that let us get the freedom first. It seems that he doesn't understand where we are coming from. No, he doesn't. That you cannot just get the freedom first if you don't go through these protocols. From where? You don't go these systems. They will kill you again now. They will kill, exactly. So, he said, let us get the freedom first. That will now how? 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 how do you get the freedom? How do you want to get it? Mm hmm what is your roadmap? What is your roadmap? What's the blueprint? How? From A to B, C, D. How? That's what I'm saying. How? How do you get that freedom? How? So, be, uh, whatever his name is, I think is one of those stooges. I don't know what that, but because he's been making some uh, uh, unwarranted comments. Please, 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 if you're listening, if you're here to listen to the facts, Try and understand the angle that we're approaching this. We are no longer here trying to shout, hey, 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 hey. No, we are here to look for solutions. We're here to look for ideas. We're here to collaborate with people that matter to make this thing go forth. We are not here to discuss anybody. So, Mr. Man, if you know yourself, try and understand that you cannot grab that freedom without going through these steps. And you cannot go through these steps without talking to your people first. There has to be that internal cohesion. There has to be that glue that will gum all of us together. They will not present this to you and I say, hey, see 
oh, we are together in this. And you guys will say, okay, it may sound easy or seem easy, but it took LNC six years to get talking to these people, to get talking to our own brothers. Remember, during the war, these people, our, our own brothers didn't even know what was happening. Oh. I mean, our own brothers, in them Bamili and Co. Yes. They didn't even understand. They thought we wanted to come and invade and take from them. You understand? And this was what the Fulanis used. Yes. They knew that if you don't threaten, if you tell them that the Igbo people will threaten you, take away your land, take away your money, take away your wives and all that, you will feel agitated. You will support the group that is after the Igbo race. So whomever is telling us, go and grab the land first, then we will talk. No, we have to talk now before we grab that land. It's like you want to marry a woman. He said, go and grab her and marry her. I marry her. <laughs> I mean, you have to, you have to go through. Like, you have to woo her. Then she will agree. You go and meet the parents. Uh -huh. Then meet the homeowners. Homeowners. Uh -huh. Then meet the people. You have to meet the two more and that before they will. Exactly. Die. Exactly. So, so what, what are we talking about? Nature, day nature day has, day. has taught us how things are done. I don't know why we are so stubborn. They, they and it will not, we will not. Day. We will not go with you on that your stubborn route. Because when there's war, it's the women and the children that will die. It's no, our children stubborn. that will die. Mm -hmm. And that will not happen. We will not allow you to do that. Not again. Mm -hmm. Never. It's sad. It is sad. One thing that they they, they fail to realize is that even the so-called UN is a You know, they are not even sincere. So imagine if you bring your own sincerity. You're bringing insincerity to people that are already insincere. Ah, That's why we're know. trying to bind them by the legal documents. <laughs> UN is not now. sincere because UN is there and all kinds of atrocities are happening all over, especially in Africa. Mm -hmm. They will even use the money given to UN to fund terrorists to hold our brothers and sisters hostage in uh, Libya. They have proven themselves to be useless. So imagine now, if you go there thinking you can use Africa by not following what they all their what is it called forty six articles, mm -hmm. you try to skip uh, skip a, 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 a skip one of them. It's not gonna work. You have to follow the due process because how I know they are criminals themselves as far as I'm concerned because they are not between who and you and if I am Trump, I will cut them off. That's they, they are useless to humanity. Mm -hmm. Useless. Sister, please continue. All right. So let's go through point three of the eight strategy uh, that we have. So, so, strategy so let me recap. So the first one, we said the, the, the map of the nation being restored, we identified uh -huh. that. And then the second one, we said internal cohesion, which is basically having your house in order. It's like uh -huh. you cannot run a house of a wife and a child every time. But you want to be the chairman of your village. It doesn't work that way. So internal cohesion, making sure that the place they are coming out of is sealed and in unity before you go forth with the next step. Go ahead, sister. All right, so the third step is the strategy for taking down the 1999 Constitution, which is the pressure cooker of injustice, hmm. just like the apartheid Constitution of South Africa. So going by what the LSE found out in the course of reaching out to various Biafra agitation groups, the leadership of the various Biafra restoration groups did not at all understand the centrality of the unitary constitution of 1999 of Nigeria to bondage of Nigeria to bondage they seek to break as well as the actual chain by which the sovereignty is entrapped in Nigeria including that of the greater eastern Nigeria are locked down and so they did not have any designs whatsoever to take down the obnoxious constitution of 1999 they rather mocked the single-minded assertions campaign and focused commitments of the LNC and its MNN alliance partners to take down the 1999 constitution as a strategy for freeing the trapped constituent components of unitary Nigeria, including the greater Eastern Nigeria, which they loosely call Biafra. On the other end, the nerve wracking efforts made by LNC via PRONACO and other initiatives to build a consensus of the aggrieved non caliphate rest of Nigeria to house unitary Nigeria by distilling self-determination-based successor constitutional arrangements were ignorantly denigrated and scoffed at by the leaderships of the Biafra agitation groups. The LNC-inspired MNN Alliance, which is actually the undertaker platform 
for the dismantling and the interment of the unitary Nigeria, that is the one Nigeria as you would like to call it, was derisively dismissed as another one Nigeria outfit by the leaderships of the Biafra Restoration Groups, who the LNC took into confidence regarding the objective issues of strategy and methodology for liberation being outlined here now. In 2007, challenging the legitimacy of the 1999 Constitution and seeking the immediate termination of its operation was initiated through the MNN outreach. Having achieved the consensus on the restoration of Aburi level regional autonomy to the entrapped constituent component blocks of Nigeria, the MNN Lagos Declaration of June 30, 2011 was the first joint multi regional action by which delegates of the Lower Niger, Yoruba land, and the Middle Belt formally repudiated the caliphate imposed 1999 constitution as the basis of the distressed federation of Nigeria. The declaration also mandated each of the eminent alliance blocs to distill its regional charter and draft constitution in preparation to further coordinated self-determination steps that would lead to the easing out of the prevailing imposed constitutional order and to self-determination, which is referendums or plebiscites where necessary for each block to decide its future. So those who vote to opt out of the fade Nigerian Union will adopt the name by which they enter their independence. The regional repudiation of the 1999 constitution as the basis of Nigeria by each of the three blocks in the MNN Alliance via elaborate solemn assemblies of the people of the various blocks. That will be the Lower Niger in Port Harcourt of April 27, 2015, Yoruba Land in Ibada, September 7, 2017, and the Mildu Bet in Makaldi, July 18, 2018, signposted the death knell for the rogue 1999 constitution. The Joint Multi-Region Freedom Pact Proclamation of December 11, 2018, by MNN inspired Nigeria Indigenous Nationalities Alliance of Self Determination, rejecting further national elections mandated by the 1999 Constitution by the MNN Alliance blocs, was enacted to set in motion a chain of events that would terminate the operation of the 1999 Constitution. That proclamation of December 11, 2018, was the immediate trigger of the January to July 2019 international engagements in Washington, D.C., which culminated in the July 2019 damning U.S. verdict on the Fulani ethnic cleansing campaign against the indigenous nationalities of Nigeria. This was followed closely by the even more damning August 2019 U.N. Special Rapporteur's description of Nigeria's constitutional arrangement as a pressure cooker for injustice. All right, sister. Right. So, Mona, are you going first? Go ahead, go ahead. I'll wait for you. Okay. You see, um, it's like when you are in a cage with some people and you say, I want to live alone, then leave others inside the same cage. You know, you are in a, in a hole, trapped. Then you are climbing to get alone. Do you think the people that will be left in that hole will allow, allow you to you climb to up? Go. They are you. I will stay there and suffer. I will together. pull you down. <laughs> and that was what happened in 1967. Without the help of the Yorubas and the Middle Belt, there's no way Polanis would have conquered us or done anything to us in 1967. Mm -hmm. The Yorubas did not understand what we were telling them, what we saw ahead of time. But now they understand because somebody has gone to explain to them. Which is the homework we're saying, this is the homework we need to do first. Explain to the people that you are together. And it's an in line with UN declaration that your rights as an indigenous person will not destroy that of and not your neighbor. So you will have to work together. So thank God, according to what you had my sister read now. We've had the solemn assemblies. We have that of the Lower Niger. That was in 2015. Then we had that of Yorubas. They had their own. That was 2017. 
Then the middle belt people have had their own 2018 Makoji. And we are seeing these videos coming out. People are working. It's just that, you know, they say empty barrel is the one that make it, makes the loudest noise. Mm -hmm. If you're very busy working, you have time to make noise. So people have been working and doing the right thing. They've had the Freedom Path Declaration or Proclamation. This is how South Africa begins and got their independence, the mm -hmm. true independence. We discussed it last week, how South Africa and Namibia, we are in the same situation we found ourselves today. But thank God for Nelson Mandela, two lawyers, Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambo, their partners. They were the ones, after their people have run around for 50-something years, you know, say, this thing you are doing, you know, you're wasting time. You're beating about, you're running around the bush like Israel lights, like I'm going around the mountain. And God said, you have gone around this mountain for too long. Say, Joshua, it's time to lead my people into freedom. This is what it is. South Africa, within 27 years, we now sat down and started doing the right thing, following protocol, following the legal things. One step after, one step after the other. And then we got what they wanted. It's the same way. Lua Niger Congress have been working for 21 years. So we are close to this thing that we are seeking. We are close. And we don't want people that are making noise to ruin it for us. Because the more you ruin it, the more we die. And our people die every day without you knowing. Why are you doing making all this noise? Because you are not educated on, on this subject matter. We're not saying you didn't go to school. To go to school is one thing. To be educated on a particular issue is another thing. On this issue, you're not educated. And you need to get educated. And that's why we're reading it for us. For all of us to read it together. Get informed on what needs to be done. And then we begin to do it. Some people have already started. Thank God. It's just for us to finish up. Out of 16 set goals, they have finished 14. That's more than 80% pass mark. Mm -hmm. So what is left is just so we are taking this pain to explain to us so that we stop wasting our time and dragging us back. 2015 was when we would have had our freedom. But some people appeared from nowhere. Right. Started blackmailing people that are working hard and took us seven years backward. Like Buhari took Nigeria seven years, 20, how many years backward? Please, please go ahead. My dear is sad. I guess it's a case of being in a hole somewhere and then when it's time for you to come out, you start making noise that the smell is about to kill you. So if only our people will understand that we are almost there, we just have to follow the course. And at the end of the day, freedom will be at our doorstep. So understanding this, and again, this thing, uh, information goes back to having that internal cohesion, making the people that you are uh, talking about or talking to are in, in um, tandem with your plans so that at the end of the day, you get what you're uh, looking for. And you can see this is important, right? Because the way the British government divided the zoo country, they have us as the minority. Even people, one guy was speaking to say, you're locked down and locked out. I've never even heard that word before, locked in and locked this, you know. No, they, 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 use the word, they use the word land locked. Yeah, locked, locked. And I'm like, well, what happens to subway? <laughs> so way mm. if you not know us who will go who would <laughs> I'm telling you. So they use all they, they, they are they, they go through subway, subway and motor and they'll go through subway mm -hmm. to get to the next place. So right. what happens to subway? What happens to to you know whatever? Yeah, fly, 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 go to river. Fly over. Yeah. So what 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 is my love about the eastern yeah. region? I don't understand. You know, it's just lame, lame, lame right. argument. You know, when so, people want to. But the lame. good news is that we are no longer sleeping. We know what you guys, the propaganda that the colonial master or the colonial arm robbers, because they are not my master, God forbid, the colonial arm, arm robbers, uh, the, the plan that they have for our people, did all this manipulation, did all this population uh, creation, did all this uh, uh, territory division. All manner of stuff, they use all manner of calculation against our people. And for years, we allowed it to roll. I guess in the name of let peace reign. And we can see so far that it's not working. 
So having these uh, meetings with people that matter, with those that will in, in alliance to, with us, will help us to create that alliance territory that we are looking for, will help, help us to be the majority that we are looking for, so that we can be able to make the decisions that we need to make over the country called Nigeria. So these things are important that we understand the importance of working with your neighbors, working with your neighbors, teaching them the history, or telling them that I do not want to leave you in the dungeon like my sister said, because if I'm in the dungeon with you for eight years and you're about to leave, God help you trying to leave. <laughs> God help you. So, yeah, but if I'm going to leave and say I'm going to leave with the three of us or the four of us or five of us, guess what? It will allow us to plan together. So it makes sense that I went and I planned for myself to leave them. When it's time for me to leave, the other three will not allow me to leave versus getting you on board and we all plan on how to leave. So that is important. Go ahead, sister. Uh, one of our listeners was saying, we just need a referendum. Just give us a referendum. And I'm like, duh. Probably did not listen to the UN declaration that we did before. You don't just get referendum like that. I'm just going by what the guy said. He said, just give us referendum and we'll go our separate ways. Mm -mm. You do not go. It is step by step, our people. People, listen, listen, listen. Don't get, don't get bamboozled. Don't get bamboozled mm -hmm. with the, with all those um, rhetorics. Rhetorics, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. Hey, I'm going to get you referendum. Referendum will have. If it's only referendum 2016, 2017, 2018, that kind of not a referendum. So we are not talking about you just a referendum like that. It doesn't work that way. I think referendum is Akara. I think it's not a referendum. Mama, not that, oh, yo, yo. You come with referendum, Akara. Oh, yeah, look at it. Yeah, you I have this listener did not follow us through when we were telling her, telling them the important that is the state. The state meaning the country called Nigeria, the sovereign. So even though you know Nigeria is people are being killed like an animal and they don't want to be identified to the international community it's a sovereign country it's a okay. sovereign country that's why why we are calling jubril and uh, abaki they are still flying all over the world enjoying our money they can't do anything to them he said you yeah, you uh, you will turn around and give them more money because okay. they are sovereign country so according to the un die. that un they that you think is going to give you referendum your nation that sovereign nation called Zoological Republic Nigeria, excuse my language, that's who's going to allow you to get a referendum. That's how it works. So you can't grab it. You cannot grab it. And that is why it is so important that you go through all these steps. If you don't go through all these steps, we'll continue to shout uh, a, a referendum or death or what's all that slogan? Yeah, it's all death. That's what they're saying now because they want to die again. Okay. So why would you die? Then why would you enjoy the referendum when you just want to die? No, it's in hellfire. So no no cool temper, cool temper. We are on the right path. You understand? We are on the right path. Before supposedly we didn't know that there is something in the offing, you know, we didn't know that there's something that's going on. Now that we know that there's something that is going on, we want our people to understand that there is no point going out there to kill for nothing. Going out there to go and uh, embarrass any governors. I mean, you, of course, probably you have a right to embarrass them. But remember the way it is in this in Nigeria. If you embarrass them, they will kill you. Mm -hmm. So just leave them alone because the pathway has already been set. And as Sister Ebu rightly said, we are at the 14th stage of a 16th stage process. So what was next? What's next? And, and, and you know, something that like when you read it. UN had to send people based on all this work that people have done. Yeah, yeah, UN yeah. sent people to Nigeria to find out what is going on. And you know what they said? They said Nigeria is a pressure cooker of injustice. This is for people that will not talk before. They made that declaration. That's their summation. And you know one thing about pressure cooker? If you do not ease out the pressure, it will explode. It's about to happen. Everything he said, it will start flying left, right, central, everywhere. And the world does not want to handle 200 million refugees. You flying everywhere. Ordinary coronavirus. It's not ordinary, but I'm just saying coronavirus. Compared to the pressure uh, cooker, it is ordinary. Yes. <laughs> America came to take her citizens. He found out that uh, the citizens of America in Nigeria is more than what they bargained for. 
-hmm. Imagine when there's war and those people are ready to be evacuated. Where will America keep them? No way. Have you seen the world does not want you to go up in places? The, the world is not ready for that. The world will appreciate a systematic way of doing things. Because if you do it that way that you, I remember 2015, when we are planning for, um, planning for uh, uh, election, 2015 election, there was too much tension, so much tension that America had to deploy their uh, soldier, I think it was in Ghana that they came Ghana. Mm -hmm. Ghana. waiting for us because they know that these people are going to fight. But for the wisdom of God, good luck just say, you know what? It's not what they Whatever want. ambition I have, it's not worth your blood. Let's leave this thing now. I know that systematically. For adventure, good Lord knew about this Loa Niger Congress work. So he knew that eventually this work would be done. Why do I allow my people to die? That's a leader that I want to respect. Yeah, true, but on another angle, I don't know if you know, the leader the job of the accessory killing of our people. That's not even abated, it's still going on. I agree. Buari came in. Buari, because Buari has just one agenda. One, one of the agenda is Buari has the entire Islamization of the entire country. That is his agenda. So anyhow he wants to carry it out, he went all out to do it. So this is just my own opinion. But he did not live by himself. You know? They sponsored Buhari. They brought Buhari in. Well, of course. You I understand? Understand. And we are ready to kill us. Do you understand? He had no choice but to like, okay, I know that there's something on the ground. People are working. So there's no need to allow my people to die now in this large number. Let's systematically it. Which is what we're expecting from some leaders that are leading our people in different freedom uh, fighting group. What we're saying is that we have died before. 3.5 million and 2 million staff dead. It's not what we want to repeat. And that's why we're saying we want to follow systematically. We do it systematically. And that brought us to the thing, this term that people hear about, constitutional force majeure. Uh -huh. Because that's the best uh -huh. where we will ease out. Ease out. That's 1999 caliphate uh, 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 constitution that is like South African. That's how you bring it down. The people have to be part of it. And thank God for how many years are on board now. The solemn assemblies have already been done. That of Ibadan for Yoruba people, that of Makadi for Middle Belt, that of um, Port Harcourt. That's how to work. That's how to do things. So it has already been done. And we are moving to the next phase, which is constitutional force major. Thank you. And one, one thing we need to understand is that the constitutional force major, because I, I, you know, I've been talking to people and they're like, oh, does that mean that Nigeria is going to write a new constitution? The truth about it is that whether Nigeria writes a new constitution or not is not what the issue is. The truth about it is that with the first major, it is bringing out that old constitution that has, that is that has entrapped us in, in in such a way that we cannot extricate ourselves from that um uh, that cage. So once that comes down, it now depends on the individual entities. Hey, are we going to come back again and rewrite a new constitution? That depends on the indigenous peoples. They will decide whether to come back together and write a new constitution or move. You know, it talks. But that constitution has to come down for us to have our pathway to freedom. And that's why you begin to talk about referendum, actually. That's and that's why you begin to talk about that. referendum. So, that's I'm, I'm that is saying, give me a referendum, give me a referendum. The constitution that has held Nigeria together has to come down for you to even ask for referendum. So, somebody giving you dates, oh, referendum, he's been giving that date since 2016, 17, 18, 19, he's giving dates all the time. It doesn't work that way. And asking you to donate money 
for referendum. It does not work. We've told you where we uh, did where we talked about the the UN declaration. It is the state, the, when they say state, meaning the nation that would sponsor the referendum. So it's not you donating money to someone and that you will pick a date for referendum. So people, you know, wise up. And let's go to number four of the eight point strategy. Number four, the question of how to dismantle and house the 1967 caliphate led alliance of the rest of Nigeria against the East. So having secured the hitherto divided nationalities of the greater eastern Nigeria, which is the lower Niger, into a cohesive formation, the LNC through its outreach called the MNN aggregates the Yoruba and Middle Belt into a solid block of the aggrieved non caliph rest of Nigeria. That is the South and the Middle Post. 1999 constitution and pitch themselves together decisively against the murderous 12 state Sharia caliphate that clings tenaciously to the all empowering 1999 constitution and now also executing an ethnic cleansing campaign against that non caliphate rest of Nigeria. This eminent alliance effectively dismantles and replaces the 1967 caliphate led alliance that isolated and came against the East. It is pertinent to note that the aforementioned MNN Lagos Declaration of June 30, 2011, was a formal declaration of a sovereignty dispute by the MNN Alliance against the unitary Nigeria, as defined by the 1999 Constitution. So let me let me let me say this. You know, we keep saying the unitary Nigeria, which means that I think it was started by the military when they said Nigeria has to become one. They now wrote a constitution that does not benefit any other region. So when we say unitary Nigeria, we're talking about that 999 constitution that has enslaved us. So until we get out of that constitution, I mean, I don't know. So, so the implication of this approach from, is that Augusta. whereas the Biafra restoration agitation is basically a relaunch of the secession speed of 1967 by the then Eastern region, in manner that immediately isolates the East, with all its possible consequences for the East, the LNC and MNN paradigm targets the consensual delegation of the rogue 1999 constitution in a manner that clinically dismantles that reunion's unitary constitution of 1999 to free its entrapped constituents components, including Eastern Nigeria, with no prospects of the East being isolated as would be the case with the secessionist bid. There are therefore two opposite paradigms requiring completely different strategies and methodologies. What has been perilled as unwillingness of the LNC to work with the Biafra agitation bandwagon actually stems from the damaging difficulties emanating from the objective issues of strategy and methodology dictated by the two by these two totally opposed paradigms in pursuing what ostensibly seems a common cause. In the final analysis, the eight point objective issues of strategy and methodology here in outline spell success or failure for the entire self-redemption venture. And so any coalition of effort must take their bearings from finding common grounds around those issues. Everything else is emotion and vacuous commotion that cost blood with no prospect of any meaningful outcome. All right, sisters. So the bottom line, you know, a, a brother here is asking, are we talking about division or separation? <laughs> My brother, we are talking about taking down the constitution so that you can have that freedom that you're looking for, so that you can have the referendum that you're looking for. It has <laughs> to go through the legal process. And you can't just come and take it down by shouting, you can't come and take it down by having an emergency uh, outburst or whatever you want to call it. It has to follow the due process. And what we are doing with this plan, uh, this guy, this plan here, this apron strategy is trying to bring our people together, get us to be the uh, majority with, uh, uh, in conflict with our Yoruba uh, uh, sisters and brothers, the uh, middle belt. So that we can okay so my sister is showing the the map thank you sister that's wonderful so that now we can become the uh majority 
as you can see the fulanis they have carved out their sharia territory that they're using to cut people's hand off and do whatever they need to do they actually have separated from the country called nigeria they oh, have so so far if you look at the alliance territory which puts middle belt which really middle belt they, these people are brothers and sisters they act like us more than they act like like, uh, like the uh, not northern people mm -hmm. so with this map now you can see that we are now the majority then with this majority and the internal cohesion that we are looking for then you can move forward now and start doing things because you're the majority right now the way the colonial arm robbers and the Fulanis have the map is that they are over us everything is against us we are landlocked we are the major minority we are that little knot here on the on the corner of the map but with this new alliance map you can see that we have taken over the the rest of the territory so we are talking about separating from a place called nigeria from a place that is meant to kill uh, leak, uh spill the blood of our people the place that is meant for someone who is so brilliant to turn out to be a wheelbarrow because it's, it's the country right. called nigeria is not working so we have to we must get it right we must get it right so we are talking about separation but using the right strategy so stay with uh -huh. go ahead yeah can i go, should I go ahead yes okay. you know and the two i don't know like these people that we call fool and i hate to say it like they're smarter than some of us because they did not they sat down. This thing that we're telling our people this is what we need to do. That's what they did. Because that constitution actually is not even a constitution because they write. It's supposed to be a decree because it came from military. Any document that we help the military to leave, it's not constitution. It's not we the people. Constitution means the constituent people. We say we the people. So the military commands against the people of nigeria they did they made a decree and called it constitution say it's we the people that's a lie that's fraudulent this war we are fighting is already done if we understand now the fulani caliphate systematically made the southern part of nigeria like my sister said this southern part made them by by carving out the people some people speaking part, some yoruba speaking parts and push them into middle belt through state creation and road network then move them and in these people are able to move them to be part of the north and in other words every southern part of a northern state they are actually christians mm -hmm. and that the ones the boko haram which is the military of fulanis they are the ones the boko haram has been killing they are the ones that are wiping out so these people are trapped why are they trapped they use state creation and network you that you are in 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 in, in Enugu state for instance you're very close to somebody in Benue. but they will make you to travel round you have to go to makoji if you're coming from abuja go to benin go to auchi through the back door then you enter it will make you think that you're so far away from your brother your brother that two of you speak the same language you eat the same food and everything but is as see somebody in Benue North, somebody in Southern Kaduna is a Northerner. Somebody, people in Middle Belt that speak the same language with us, they have suddenly become Northerners. Why? It was systematically done, and you become a minority. But thank God for this beautiful work that has been done. We have now become the majority. We are no more. We have connected back to our brothers and sisters. The legal way. Not by, like my sister say, what is the emergency outburst? <laughs> it's not by emergency outburst or broadcast. It's by sitting down with your people, explaining to them, this is what has happened. And they will say, oh, that's true. 
they will work with you. Then together, you can now present your case, which has already been done. All these things have been doing, done. People have, people have been working hard for how many years? We even know. Thank God. So this is what that with this map that shows places that someone said this Sharia territory have already separated themselves mm -hmm. from Nigeria. This yellow part, mm -hmm. they have already separated themselves and made themselves minority. Now, just for the rest of us that are in the white part that we call alliance territory, to come together, which they have done with all the solemn assemblies and everything, work together. Just why we are doing this is for the rest of us to understand that there are certain things you're doing that are not necessary. It's like you're trying to circumvent the will. You, know? yeah. it, you, you just die for it, and it's, it's not needed. Sorry, yes, it, it's not it, trying to circumvent, as I would call it, Appia Way. I didn't know that Appia Way is actually something. <laughs> but like Google, we you know Appia Way as a korokoro or you know, <laughs> backyard, you know, that kind of thing. So there's no point going through the backyard when you can actually walk through the front yard, through the front door, open the door, and get what you want. Like somebody was saying that the um, that their leader, you know, asked for constitutional review. That uh, what we are just talking is nonsense. And the lady used to say on thought ladies. And I'm like, okay, gosh. So people got to go back to school. Yeah. But you know, we're not here, as we've often said, not here to disparage the, uh, any other person. But we just wanted to talk about the truth. And the truth is what is important to us. So if you felt that your leader has already called for constitutional review, he, he called for constitutional review. Did he just come on the on your radio station and say, "Hey, I've called for constitutional review"? When he's not even a political uh, figure, he's not member of the Senate, he's not member of the ruling party or whatever, he's not even the president of the country. So, on how, what ground is, on he, what calling ground for is he calling for constitutional review? And to what effect is the and to what effect? Review? Even if the so where is he fitting into what is being done? What you need is not constitutional review. review. What you need is the creation of that decree because it's not even a constitution to start with. Exactly. The decree is a military decree. Mm -hmm. Repudiation of it. The, lead, the owners of the land will come together. The, the sovereign right is theirs. They have the sovereign right. The owners of Nigeria, that's indigenous persons. It is their right. Sovereignty is their right. The, the politicians are just managers, like you are an owner of a company, and you now have managers. He's telling them that they should review your article of the company. Meanwhile, you're the owner of the company. It doesn't make sense in the business world. It doesn't make sense in any other place. So we are not asking for consumer review. We are asking for total repudiation of that fraudulent decree. It's not a very constitution. The people did not. So it's it a lie. It's a fraud. Right. Not, this thing was they committed written. treason against the people. What did they do? Probably written in one hotel in Dubai. So of how course. could that be a constitution that would mm -hmm. that would take care of our people? So the idea of constitutional review doesn't even make sense. No, no. It doesn't not sure that somebody is not schooled on what needs to be done. No, he's not. And ignorance. They be ignorance. Yeah. And another person said, we just want Biafra. You people should get away with the one Nigeria. Now, my, my thing is that, yes, we want Biafra, according to, you know, everybody wants freedom, freedom, freedom. But you cannot get through to freedom without going through this step. We've said it over and over and over. So if you're like making comments, probably have to go back to the old videos that we have. You know, when we talked about the UN declaration, go back to the old videos and understand why we decided to take it systematically. So I'll let our people know that no one single man will come and tell you is going to get you freedom. Everybody have to sit down, sit tight, and look at how they their own community will benefit from this freedom. So don't get bamboozled. Don't get bamboozled and allow yourself to be putting money in somebody's coffers because you believe that person will give you freedom. Tomorrow night, we'll tell you what he used. He will use the money for. I use it to buy, a, to buy uh, rice. A pack of rice. And <laughs> it to, uh, of rice. Uh, milk cup for our people. Like I said he has to pay our people. <laughs> No, let us get out from all this our our nonsense. It's not making sense. You understand? Right. So this is not about being emotional. This is about the truth. And you know that the truth is the only thing that is constant. You understand? 
So we want people to understand where we are coming from. The document they have said you have to read these things. You have to understand it. If you don't understand it, call people that understand the grammar. Let them break it down to you, so that we don't it, continue to rig my role and appease to some gods. I don't right. know where those gods. So are. in a, in addition to that, and this is what we're saying, it's not that eventually somebody may not have to fight and defend themselves. No, you may get to that point. The point is that at least we have followed the legal process. We have, you know, when we say we have let the international community know, not by posting things on Facebook, at least with these things that we are doing, we are following their legal process to get to where we're going. And at some point, it's just like a, a child that the, parent, the father will say, okay, go to school. If you have all A's, I, I will pay for you to, I will buy you a brand new car. And the child comes home with an A, you say, come on, get out from here. You know there is trouble. Because this child probably stayed up all night studying to get all these A's. So we are not doing what you and and the so-called international communities wants us to do at some point when we're done with all the things that they told us to do, and it's time for us to get what we're supposed to get and if they don't give it to us then it will be what it will be it's just that simple exactly it and then you have more be. support from international community exactly you understand yeah. you have more right support there's no way everybody will not support you so there's that's no way. yeah and sisters what we're seeing on platform is the power of brainwashing you know, mm. you know, when they are brainwashed, totally brainwashed, like what they do, like some pastors do to their followers, mm. you know, because that's what has happened to our people. We are saying, like, we are talking against church, but we have a reproduction of church. That means using the name of God. God, in vain. To brainwash, in vain, to brainwash our people, to promise what you cannot do. And my people are totally bamboozled and brainwashed, and they can't even reason, they can't think. So they now sound like broken record. We want freedom. We want freedom. We want to referendum. We want to refer how? How? Ask the people leading you say, can you tell us the roadmap? How are we going to this place? But because you've been brainwashed, you can't ask necessary questions. And we're trying to Oh, they've been told not to ask. They've been told do not That's ask. Not to That's what the That's white man, man did to us. Just wait. They repeat. The white man be what we command and control. Um Arab be we command and control. And one our own person is also coming up with my command and control. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Why would you want to control you in this 21st century? When you have all the wherewithal, you have the ask, you have the internet, or maybe you have google as your friend so why would anybody brainwash you and tell you oh it is what i said that will be final i have to take the final decision before anything happens before you open a bank i have to i have to uh, approve it before you open a school i have to approve it before you open uh, 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 a supermarket country, i have to now, you know it. you know you before our people from uh, yeah. from a uh, um market to upper market in a, in a, in anambra you know I yeah, you so, know, you I know, mean, what that is, we are talking about military. This one would be worse than military. Tyranny. When it comes to tyranny, you won't even know what hits you because you won't be able to talk. And when our women are here trying to talk, some people are talking down on us and thinking that we are, we are, I don't know, keep, you know, using all kinds of derogatory words to. Oh, that brain word. There's nothing in the brain. That means the brain. Like, Okay. They, empty. They, they use congi soap okay. to wash your brain. Not yeah, even one congi soap to get you sapo, sapo your brain that you can no longer think yeah. that this person that has been shouting about referendum and uh, that he is met with UN. Who did he meet uh, at the UN uh, uh, EU? Who did he meet? As who? I mean, question. I mean, he's meeting them as who? On what authority? On what authority? <laughs> to get you Biafra? To get you your freedom, eh? and who asked him to? On whose authority is he meeting UN? To discuss so, what actually? To discuss what with UN <laughs> on our behalf? No. And in honesty, there is no picture. There is no picture showing he actually met. He don't even need a picture because he's not even the right thing to do. Okunyana has all that. Okunyana, exactly. So he hasn't met with nobody. He hasn't met with anybody. I call them Yahoo Yahoo yeah. fighters. So my people, doing the right thing the right way is the only way out. And like we said, now we are being the gentlemen of the international community. We are looking at the due processes. We are following it. At some point, we will have to do what we got to do. It, it, like Americans we say, you got to do what you got to do. But let's do the studying. Let's give in the take the final exam. 
and see what grade they will give us. From that grade, then we'll do what we have to do because you have to follow due process. There is no other way. And the reason why we're saying this, we don't want people to die unnecessarily while we are waiting for the real thing to happen. So that once we get to the point where we have to defend ourselves because we have done all the UN said to do and nothing is happening, then we have to do. But we don't want to be going back and forth while they are still funding the zoo country, while they are still giving them money, while they are still giving them ammunition, why they're they still giving them power, why they're still acknowledging them as a sovereign country, and they're killing us and nobody will come in. And that's why we say we don't want any more killings. Let's go through this process the right way, not the yelling part and all this uh, music part and all this. No, through the legal way, so that at least for now we stay safe while we're going through the legal way. Then if it doesn't go, then we can the anarchy can then come. So no, even if we break out with this alliance, with this alliance, my dear, it will be a repeat of nineteen sixty seven with this alliance. Right. Who is going to follow me? This one minority now. Right. So with this alliance, even if it results to what you're saying, my dear, we are good to go. We mm -hmm. are good to go because the right. people are with us. And here is very amazing. Here is very amazing, my sisters. It's amazing. Here is very amazing. So our people perish because of lack of knowledge. We keep reading this thing in the Bible, and I swear to God, God was referring to people from when he when yes. he wrote that verse. He was referring to us there because. You will see the information in front of you. You will not grab it. You're sentimental about it. You will open up a business. You will not school your child. You will not have over child because your child went to America to study. You give them the business they've never run before. They will run it down. Everything being done haphazardly. Somebody will call you this thing, praise you. All of a sudden, you think they are God. We just have to be true to ourselves. We need to be grounded people because the days ahead are, <laughs> is, is going to be tough. So it's very important that we are grounded so that we are not going back and forth with uh, uh, information that we should be asking questions about. So please, this is for your good. Um, yes, we have some people calling names, but that's okay. We cannot focus on that because we're on a mission. We're on a mission to make sure that our people uh, get their freedom and they're no longer dying. So that's the most important thing. So the devil will always be there. Even during the slavery, they have people that will work with the uh, 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 colonial armed robbers to steal our people. There's a Duke of uh, Calabar that was terrorizing our people during colonial uh, armed uh, arm robbery. So this is our people in Calabar. This man was bringing people and holding them hostage and you have rituals to intimidate the other ones from escaping. So it's not the first time that our people worked against the devil in terms of doing what is right. But we are telling you guys that as mothers, we will never mislead you. There is nothing for us to gain. We are not trying to be your governor, your your commissioner, your whatever. We are just saying we just want our young men to finish school and get a job, marry at the right time, live in a decent environment, have access to a hospital, have access to school, have a good road, have access to decent life. Decent life, because right now we are living as monkeys and baboons that the Chinese are showing on their TV. We just want a decent life for our people. We are not here for any monthly contributions. We don't care for any of those. We are here for your well-being. We are here for your well-being. And that's what can, uh, matters to us. You know. So thank you guys for listening. We'll continue the, four, uh, the rest of the uh, four strategies left. It's an eight point. So we did the, uh, we showed you guys a um, nation that is being restored. That is very important that we call our people that we are calling to be part of that nation, so that we are they are included in the in the map, so that we can have a documented uh, map that include these people. And then you're talking about internal cohesion. We also talked about our people meeting with all all our uh, indigenous people around us, the Yorubas, the um, Middle Belt uh, people that look almost just like us and act like us. That we are in collaboration with them in terms of what we are doing. And I forgot what was the last part, sisters. And bringing down the talking about how to bring yes. down the constitution, and the Fordland constitution, the 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 constitution that is holding you guys together. And as long as we keep having an election under this formula constitution, you guys are making it legible. You're making it credible. You're making you accept. That means you are accepting it. If you continue, if you remember doing the the apartheid one in <clears throat> South Africa, one of the things that they said is to not to no longer have election yeah. under this formula constitution. So that's what we need to be doing. All these people promoting constitution because, I mean, promoting election because they are getting one thing or the other. 
you need to stop. We need to take down this constitution, break it down so that the indigenous people will come on the table and decide on how they want to proceed. Yep. That's the only yeah, way we that. Have, we have people that are promoting the 2023 election, saying the Igbo presidency and all that. We are not about Igbo presidency. We are not about election at all. As rightly said, the constitution leg legitimizes the election. So there is no point we have having concern in the first place. So once the country is brought up, there will be election. This is about There's not they know how it works. No. All those slogan, let us let us turn it down a little bit. It doesn't that is not how it works. So we have to understand that the idea of the twenty twenty world presidency should not even come at all because this is the this is the carrot that they will dangle in your front and you will grab it and say don't want it's our turn it's not a matter of it's our turn it's a matter of we having our freedom from this enclave and the only way we can have the freedom is to get that constitution down and this is not a time where somebody will tell you oh we are not going to vote we are not going to vote and two days later i will not tell our people to go and vote all those confusion it worked against our people, of course. Yeah. yeah. And then, as if it was it worked against our people. Yeah. So what is the point of no vote, no vote, no Whether vote? Whether I vote or no vote, they will have their candidates yeah. and have their vote. Exactly. We're so, talking about no vote. No election at all. So the breaking down of the constitution makes that a, a, a election null and void. So we don't need an election back. at all. Mm -hmm. so, don't say those that will tell oh, do not vote, do not vote. Two days later, they will say they have received signs you deliver them. Go and vote. All that confusion. Oh my God. You don't want to understand what we all went through listening to all that. Getting emotionally involved, really to find out that we were duped from day one. So, emotion, put it aside. Let us move forth with what makes sense. And this is bringing down, the, they call it constitutional force major, I've been a force constitutional major, which has <laughs> Why are you force there behind on the force? There's force, there's constitutional force. constitutional force major, That is what we are angling on. And, you know, honestly, this is what seems very feasible. What looks so real. And it's very achievable. Yeah, you know, it is. Oh, thank God they're stepping down. Oh, Abakiyare has stepped down. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> whether he's dead or alive. <laughs> is alphabetical order. Yeah. Abakiyare is A. Then the next one is Buari B. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. When somebody dies, you see a step down. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's still all our money. And they're not burning down the financial. They're not burning down the financial. They're not burning down the things us together, you know. So you know. they know that we are gone. They know. They, they are following. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the place is a failed state. It shouldn't yeah, be in existence. Yeah. So anybody yes. that put that place in existence should burn in hell to one in hell whatever they find themselves so thank you brothers and sisters for joining us we are going to be patient with those that are still struggling with understanding the information and that doesn't understand what we are doing at the end of the uh you eventually learn or you will die in the process whichever one that comes first i don't know so hopefully you will be here to understand where we are going so thank you guys for joining us so much we'll continue with the next four strategy in um uh next week so thank you yeah. guys so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.